how to download OSM data and edit it using your GIS software. The first thing you have to do is to come to your browser and OSM export and immediately you click on OSM export. This is where you click OSM export open street map. Now we have this search button, we have some other tools on the screen. On the search button, you can search directly to the location you are interested in. For example, I'm interested in Lagos State, Nigeria. Then I'll press enter and immediately I type that you can see Lagos state. This is it here, Lagos. Now, if I want to bring, push it further to my precise location, what I'll simply do is maybe I'm interested in Agege, is the area of my interest inside Lagos. So, what I'll simply do now is to come back to this search button and I type Agege. And I'll press enter. And immediately I press enter, as you can see, it's zooming to Agege. That's how to use the search buttons. Another thing you should take note is this arrow find directions between two points. This simply means that when you click on it, it's going to show you from and to. It means that if you have a location where you want to start and from it should start from a particular location, maybe you want to start from this location. As you can see, moving it on the Canva it changed the location on the button here another thing you should take note is that we have zoom when you click on zoom it's going to zoom in when you click on this it's zoom out we also have show my current location also we have layers under this layer it's good to know the type of layer you are working with map layers is very important so uh we have standard you can just play with it we have this we have several of it we have several of it you can play with it and see the differences but me coming back to standard and also we have this map key just like your legend you'll be able to identify different different symbols, cartography symbols on the open street map. Like this now, it's a motorway. This is a main road, track and others. When you scroll down, you get all the details, information about the different symbols we have on the screen. Right here, we have share. That is, if you want to share this particular locations, this particular to someone, you can do that using these links that you have. You can see joe url you can use that and lastly uh we have export when you are done maybe you are satisfied with the setting and every other things you are done on the screen so you want to export out your map you can change these values as your boundaries locations but if you want to do it manually this is it here manual select a different area so when you click on manual select a different area you can reduce it you can expand the you know this is where i'm where i want to work with i'm with this okay so what i'll simply do now is to click on export so i'll click on export and immediately i click on export is going to download for me so with that you can bring it in into your gis software so basically if you want to bring in this openstreetmap.osm file to your adventure you want to use a gis there are certain things you need to do because for you to import this .osm file to your agis software and on my next video i'm going to be sharing with you on how to import and edit osm file on agis software if you have any question you can drop your question under the comment section see you on next video